Here we have a 2010 templated Persia 308 estate, 1.6 diesel, six speed manual gearbox. It's had one company owner from new. It's been owned from um, Guide Dogs for the Blind. They used to get quite a lot of their vehicles off the fleet um, pre COVID. I haven't had any for a couple of years now. They're always maintained regardless to cost. So I do like buying them when I can. That wheel trim is missing, just obviously the plastic Persia cover. The only thing I'd say probably lets it down in appearance. On the roof bars, there are built into the car. Could just be a plastic cover covering this this sort of part here. Go around to the other side and show you what I mean. Probably just come off, hasn't it? Even this one's a bit loose actually, so you know, I mean, it's worked itself loose over the years. Uh, mileage on this one, 122,000. It's got nine services on the printout. It's got a maintenance print up to. Uh, almost 121 so right up to date on the history the timing belt was changed uh, 114 last may clean tidying car it does have a bit of dog odor in it but it has had dogs transported in it for the last well from new so for 12 years so there's a dog cage in the back um i remember selling a couple of these to a local dog walking company and he was the one that mentioned like these cages are sort of four or five hundred quid up it didn't add any value for me buying the car, it was just left in, in in the vehicle, so um, it'll be in there for whoever buys it. Obviously, if it's no good to you, it can be removed. It's got almost a full tank of diesel in it, which is obviously a, a bonus, isn't it, for whoever buys it. Only got one key. Just sat in now, so you can just see the uh, handbrake and seatbelt light on. It's on the radio down, I think. So you've got um, 122 on the clock, just over. Um, CD radio, air conditioning, six gears, the aircon's fully working by the way. Um, 460 miles worth of fuel, electric windows and mirrors. I don't normally show name for debt protection, but as it's a company, it's not too much of an issue, is it? Um, guide dogs for the blind, no previous owners, tax £135 for the year, MAT till May, all the handbooks are present. The ticks are services, so it was serviced in March, 126.82. Then if you look there, 114.400 um, belts and chain kit done. So that was done last last year. And then all, all the ticks on the prints are, uh, are servicing and all the other stuff, just maintenance in between like ties and stuff like that. So if you count the ticks, there's four on that page, four on that page and one on that page, you've got nine services for it. Runs and drives fine. The only thing I could really say lets it down is, as like I said, there's a wheel trim missing and it does smell a little bit of dog in there. I said it has had dogs in it from new. Good set of tyres on it, as you can see. Continentals, it's got a matching set of Continentals on it. Continental, lovely tread on the tyres. Good set of tyres on that. That's not a Continental, I've got two Continentals. Two, um, anyway, good set of tyres on. All HPI clear, been test driven by myself, clean and tidy under the bonnet. In fact, it's, you know, it's hard to do the bonnets one-handed, but why not? Well, I've got the phone in my hand and I'm thinking of it. Let's do the bonnet. It's got a release here for the bonnet, which will see. Lift the bonnet up. A few little marks. But again, it's, it's getting on a bit, isn't it? Cute and green, which is how it should be. No obvious leaks on the engine to me. the video there and we do operate viewing by appointment only please always happy to take a part exchange um, and I am taking a week's holiday very soon so it's always beneficial to call first and check I have my phone with me for the week so I can still take calls I'm not leaving the country I'm just going to um, holiday in this country so my phone will be on me but it's only me here so if I'm not here no one's here so it's best to call first please thank you for watching